UTMP will start soon working on preventing biological threats like Ebola. Yeah, this project could potentially prevent another pandemic, and it's all made possible by a multi-million dollar agreement with the U.S. Department of Defense. Development of vaccines against these viruses is, is important. It's a matter of national security. Dr. Alexander Bukriev and his team at the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston have just been given the job of a lifetime. Thanks to a $25 million contract with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Health and Human Services, they will soon begin researching and developing vaccines to combat widespread threats to the United States. These include the Ebola, Sudan, Marburg, and Lassa viruses, which are highly contagious and, if not treated properly and in a timely manner, can lead to death. These viruses are highly dangerous. The lethality varies somewhere between, say, maybe 20, 30 percent to as high as 80 percent, and they can be transmitted from, from human to human. Therefore, the outbreak of these uh, viruses must be contained as quickly as as quickly as possible. Development on an Ebola vaccine began as far back as the 2013 epidemic and has resulted in two vaccines, one approved by the U.S. FDA in 2019 and the other by a European medical agency in 2021. But he says it's not enough. So what else sets these yet to be developed vaccines apart? We will be working together with Moderna are based on mRNA platform, which was successfully used for COVID-19 vaccine by Moderna, which was developed by Moderna. Moderna will aid in the design, manufacturing, and testing of these candidate vaccines, which will be used mainly for national defense purposes. But don't count yourself out if you're not in the armed forces. These vaccines will be equally important for civilian for population, for general population, and for war, for war fighters. With the worst of the COVID-19 pandemic behind us, Dr. Bukriev and his crew are not ruling out the possibility of viruses such as these to be used in acts of bioterrorism. It always was a purpose to have good vaccines against these viruses, but why it is now? Because this mRNA technology has been developed and successfully used for COVID-19 vaccines. So it's, it's right time to use this technology against these highly pathogenic viruses. Well, researchers and testing will get underway at the Galveston National Lab soon.